Bianca Milanis. I'm going to turn 18 in October. I'm from Denver, Colorado. I'll start my story with um, when my parents divorced. Up until then, my life was very catered. And then when they split up, it was pick a side, which was really, really scary when I was 11. It was fifth grade. I chose my dad because my mom just left one day. A year and a half or so later, he got fired, we got evicted. We were constantly moving. My dad couldn't withhold a job because he would always go to the hospital and he was back, he had sciatica. And so every day it was a constant worry of, are we gonna get evicted today? And I had a guitar and a piccolo and that got sold in storage. It was through thick and thin, sleeping in the car, couch surfing with our family. We would live with so many different people in different places. I lived over a dozen different places my freshman year, including six homeless shelters. Being slowly introduced to those circumstances, it was normal. It was okay. I felt, in a way, lucky that I didn't have all of this materialistic stuff to blind me. And I had my family in my heart and I had school in my head, and that's all that mattered. I got into the pit scene, which is the smoker's group or burnouts, however you see fit, and it was, it was an environment that was familiar to me because everybody experienced some sort of struggle. And at that point, I just, I couldn't see myself graduating, but I realized potential only goes as far as what you push for it. Youth on Record has provided many opportunities for students who say yes. Me, I love doing that. And so my math teacher referred architecture to me because I loved art and I was pretty good at math. Nathan one day said, hey girl, we got an opportunity for you, what up? <laughs> and I was just like, oh my goodness, what are you talking about? And they were like, well, we have an internship opportunity with uh, Shopworks Architecture, the people who designed the studio. I just, the, the program, it just seemed, everything was meant to happen for me. I can't imagine throwing away an opportunity because of how underprivileged my life has been. The Youth on Record community is so unique, you have to see it for yourself. I mean, it, it's amazing and wonderful and it's just, it's, it's completely different. I always knew that there was something better for me. I always knew that I had an opportunity to reach for it. And those who don't reach for it don't get it.